Hello, my name is Bill. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make various types of bird houses and bird feeders all using plastic PVC pipe. And the first question you're wondering is why use PVC pipe? Where well, you're going to find it's very durable, weather resistant, fairly economical to use. If you buy it in increments of about 10 feet, you're going to probably be paying under $1.50 for a foot. And the last thing is it's workable. You can cut it in solid just like wood. Well, let's go ahead and get started. I'll be walking through how to make these various types of bird houses and bird feeders. Now, the first one I've got here, this yellow one with the black top, let me go ahead and walk through how to make that. If you're trying to save money, what you could do is, uh, first of all, get yourself a piece of PVC pipe, oh, about 10 inches in length, and I'll be putting all these dimensions and instructions on the website. If you're trying to save money, you can go ahead and cut out a round end or circle using maybe wood or a piece of an old piece of plywood lying around. Then you could also go ahead and put a piece of wood on the top. Or if you maybe you know, some people may have an old license plate, you can place something like that on the top as well. I'm going to go ahead and typically I spend just a little bit more money. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and have a way to access the nesting cavity. And to do that, I'm going to start off with a uh, female adapter. I'm going to go ahead and use some solvent cement, put just a little ring, uh, ring around the base there, and go ahead and insert it in there. And that's going to dry really quickly and create a very permanent joint. At which point, once you've got that done, there's various types of, uh, these are called clean out plugs. You can see this one's got a nice little handle for me to grip. And I can, uh, so if I need to uh, get in there and clean out the old nest, I can easily do that. I like to use these uh, more flush designs as shown there. Okay, finally, the last step what I would do is, um, well, I would go ahead and drill the hole for the entrance hole, possibly one for the perch, drill a hole up here, and go ahead and position that. And typically, I would paint it first, and then go ahead and apply, if I'm gonna be painting two different colors, put a little eye bolt in the top. Okay, well, that one is uh, pretty straightforward, pretty simple. Now let's move on to one just a little bit more uh, evolved. And uh, we'll take a look at this one right here. And in this case, um, there it is. And notice I've got a very clean appearance on the outside. I do have a couple um, drain holes here in the bottom that's gonna hang up like this. A couple holes here to hang, but I don't have any screws, etc., holding anything in place. So let me just go ahead and uh, disassemble this. And I'll show you how I actually fasten this wood and actually the perch there. Okay, so I've got a bolt here. And let me take this out. And there we go. Okay, so what I do is I'm going to start off with a piece of PVC pipe. This happens to be about 10 inches in length. And I have cut that to 22 and a half degrees. And why 22 and a half degrees? There just happens to be on my miter saw a preset slot at 22 and a half degrees. So that's the angle I chose to do. Okay, well, if you want to save a little money, you can go ahead and position just like we did with the other one. You would go ahead and start off with just a solid disc on the bottom. You could uh, put a few screw holes in here and fasten that. And the same thing here at the top. Again, I like to uh, create, a little bit, create a little bit more expensive one, one that I can easily service without having to take screws out, etc. Some people have had luck gluing these things, and I personally have not had much luck uh, common, trying to glue wood to PVC pipe. But I will say that this stuff here, if you can glue PVC pipe to PVC pipe, this is a permanent joint there. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a 4-inch snap-in drain, and you're going to go, well, that doesn't fit in there. No, it doesn't. But if you take an angle grinder, you can remove that little lip, at which point you can insert that into, glue that right in down there inside the PVC pipe. The next step I'm going to do is remove just a portion of that for the entrance hole, and then I'll go ahead and fasten that. And let me show you one more time how that is fastened. I'm going to go ahead and take my first one here, and I'm going to take a bolt. And it's going to go through this little drain and hold this in place. It's actually going to serve two purposes. Let me go ahead and get this uh, bolt in here. Oh, 
Okay, there we go. So I've got the bolt through. I'm going to go ahead and put a nut on. And this bolt's doing serving two purposes. It's uh, first of all holding this piece of wood in place, and then also it's going to go ahead and hold my perch. At this point, I'm going to take just a little few drops of Gorilla Glue, place it right there, and permanently attach my perch. Again, what I typically do is I'm going to use a, a female adapter, just like I did other in the previous one. I'm going to go ahead and glue that in place, at which point I can now access the cavity, nesting cavity, to clean out the old after the season is over. Go ahead and clean it out, and I can reapply my cover on the bottom there. Okay, we've now covered that one. Let me go ahead and walk through another one. And in this case, I took a 10 inch piece of PVC pipe. And this one is cut at just 15 degrees. And again, it just happens to be on the miter saw, a setting at exactly 15 degrees. And so therefore, I went with uh, 15 degrees. So in this case, again, if you're trying to save a little money, you could just start off with a, take a piece of plywood, place it at the bottom, take a piece of wood, and apply it here at the top. And there's lots of ways you could fasten the wood at the top. You could possibly get some little angle brackets. You could fasten the, to the wood, fasten to the PVC pipe, etc. Again, I like to be, create a very smooth, you can notice there's no screws or anything exposed here, and yet I've got a rock solid connection there. And how did I do that? Well, let me go ahead and uh, show you, and it's very similar to the last one. I'm going to go ahead and use the uh, eye bolt. And I'll take this one apart. Okay, and just like the last one, I'm going to go ahead and take out my 4 inch snap and drain, and again that will fit in there. So I'm going to go ahead and take an angle grinder, remove that lip around the outside, at which point I will glue that in permanently, again using this uh, solid cement. At which point I will then take an eye bolt, and I will go ahead and go through my little snap in drain. And sometimes I actually even put a washer underneath, just in case, uh, give it even a little bit more support. So I've got this on the top, my uh, washer on the bottom, just to give that a little bit more support. Again, on the bottom, I'm going to go with my uh, female adapter with a drain plug, or oops, with a uh, clean out plug, at which point I can easily get to this in the future. Okay. The next one I'll be looking at, a little bit more elaborate here, and I'll go ahead and walk through this one here. And this one, let me just show you right here, actually has a piece of PVC pipe right here. And in this case, I've got a threaded rod, which again is serving two purposes. It's holding the PVC pipe in place and also provides a place for my perch. So, to make this one, you would just simply start off with uh, four pieces of wood. Again, I'll get uh, dimensions on the website, just like that. And then, I've got the PVC pipe for the nesting cavity. I'll go ahead and insert that in place. Put my uh, nut back on. Get a little Gorilla Glue, put a few drops on there, and place that on. And now that is going to be um, a very nice and permanent um, little connection right there. Okay, those are four different types of bird houses. Let's take a look at a couple bird feeders that you can make. Let me start off with this really simple one. You probably have seen these around. You're going to start off with some type of plate. You could actually make it out of uh, plywood, and I've seen with a little rim around the outside. What you're now going to do is uh, cut out a few notches here, maybe like three or four. The seed can then flow out towards the bottom. At this point, you should go ahead and, let me get this uh, cap over here. You would go ahead and, a lot of times what people will do is fasten this wire down to the bottom, at which point they can just lift it up to fill out, to add more bird seed there. 
So that's a very simple little bird feeder that you can make using some PVC pipe. Let me show you just a little bit more fancy one. Uh, this is the exact same one here. So again, taking a look at well, the top, I'm going to use one of these covers. That's going to go like so. I'm going to go ahead and drill the hole, put the eye bolt in. Again, I would probably first of all paint it before gluing that in place. Then taking a look down here at the bottom, as far as the feeding tube, I found some 3 quarter inch that works just perfect here. So I'm going to drill a hole. This hole happens to be an inch and sixteenth, so this is 3 quarter inch PVC pipe, but the outside diameter is about an inch and sixteenth. And so at that point, I'm going to take a piece of PVC pipe, and I've got a couple options here as far as how I can cut that out so the birds can access the seed. This one, by far, is the easier approach. You can simply position this in some type of vise. I can then use a jigsaw. I could also even use a bandsaw, etc., to remove that. And that is actually going to go upside down. Again, this is going to be the top up here. And you hardly even need any glue, but I would still go ahead and glue that in there permanently. So what's going to happen is the seed is going to come around and towards the bottom, and the birds are going to be able to, with that entrance hole, reach down in there and grab the seed. Okay, we're taking a look. Uh, finally, the last step, like I have done on most of the other ones there, is I'm going to go ahead and use my female adapter along with a clean-up plug. I'll go ahead and uh, glue that in place. And like the previous one, some people will run this wire, run a wire all the way down. So when they want to add feed, they just simply lift the top up. Or another approach is, what I'm going to do, what I like to do, is literally glue this in place. Now when I want to uh, add seed, well, maybe just use this here and over here, I'm going to simply remove my clean-out plug, fill it up with seed, put it back in, and continue. And like I did with the other uh, bird houses and bird feeders, I am going to use a bolt that goes all the way through, take a little Gorilla Glue, put a few drops on there, and attach these wooden pegs, which just happen to be, <coughs> so I take a, like about a 3 8 inch wooden dowel, drill a quarter inch hole, and that becomes my perch for them to sit on. And I'm just kind of glancing over here. One thing which I forgot to mention with that uh, birdhouse, if you want to make it look like this, so you're going to take uh, four pieces of wood, as uh, I showed you, and you're going to take a little piece, of, uh, about a six inch piece of PVC pipe, but then to create, if you want these shingle looking, roof, I just got some shims. We need about two to three packs of these and I just used a waterproof exterior glue to fasten those on. Well, hopefully in this video um, you learned how to create various types of uh, bird houses and a couple bird feeders using PVC pipe. Hope you enjoyed it.